If you found yourself stuck choosing between backend, frontend, DevOps, in this video I'm going to show you exactly what those terms mean as an overview so that way you can make a better decision as to which way to go. Now, keep in mind that in tech, whether you choose to become a front-end developer, a back-end developer, or a DevOps engineer, it doesn't matter because all of these roles are very, very important. They complement each other. So don't look at this as, okay, one is better than the other. It's just like a system with different compartmentalized components that come together to work together, really. So first one is backend development. What is it? So when we talk about backend development, we're talking about the backend, the closet, not really. But we're talking about servers, we're talking about databases, we're talking about the architecture that fuels, sustains most applications that you are familiar with. So essentially, as a backend developer, you are the one who is responsible to make sure that the gears behind everything run smoothly. Now, what are the requirements for you to become a proficient backend developer? Well, you need to understand a lot of things, but mainly you need to understand how databases work, different kinds of databases. You have to know how to set that up, as well as being proficient at certain languages from Go, Python, Java, Node, Jazz, and many, many others. And of course, because data is very important, you have to understand database management with tools such as MySQL, MongoDB, Postgres, and so forth. So you have to have really good understanding of databases as well as programming languages to become a good backend developer. What are the pros of being a backend developer? Well, number one, you rule everybody, essentially, because you <laughs> because everything is built on top of your infrastructure that you build. But really, it's such a rewarding role because you're able to solve very complex problems and you'll be able to see your code powering various infrastructures. So you're going to feel really, really good about that. Now, the cons is that it can be pretty complex because you have to understand a lot more than what I just mentioned here to become a really good backend developer. You have to understand not only coding, but you also have to understand database management as well as system architecture, how to architect a system that way the application or applications that rely on that system run smoothly. Okay, now moving to the front end. The front end, as name imply, is the front, which means is the user interface, user interaction. So what users see in the back, we have the back end, and the front we have, I should say like this, front end, back end. I think that's better. For the front end of things, you need to understand HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, because the whole idea of becoming a front end developer is not just to make things beautiful, but also make sure that things work for the user. So the user experience is really good. So that is what a front end developer does. Now, of course, there are many frameworks and technologies that help front end developers, but you need to understand the basics of web development, which is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Pros. And so what are the pros? The pros is that if you are an artistic person, this is the best role. If you like to organize things visually, if you like to beautify a user interface to make beautiful designs that are intuitive, that are pretty good, looking good, then you're going to get a lot of satisfaction of creating user interfaces for web applications and so forth. The cons is that you need to keep up with the trends because as you know, in technology, things change rapidly. So you need to keep up with design trends as they change. And now let's move on to DevOps. DevOps is where development meets operations. As a DevOps engineer, you will work with automation tools such as cloud infrastructure that could include AWS and many other cloud providers out there and also continuous integration to improve software development and deployment processes. The idea of a DevOps engineer as an overview. So a DevOps engineer works between developers and front-end developers and back-end developers and the deployment of that code into production. They're responsible for automating this whole process of getting code from developers and then they take that code automatically. They put through certain processes to make sure the code is good right? CICD. If you're interested in that, let me know. I can talk more about that and making sure that there's this continuous integration that happens from pushing code to production. So it's an amazing role as well, as you can see. As I said before, all of these different roles are very important because as they come together, that's when magic happens. That's when some of the best softwares that we use 
today. That's how they build. So they have teams that are front end developers, back end developers, DevOps, and so forth. What are the pros? Well, let's talk about pros. DevOps are crucial for obvious reasons because they are responsible for efficient, scalable systems and offer a dynamic, impactful work environment. The cons here is that to become a DevOps engineer, you have to understand development as well as understanding how operations works. So it's a little bit challenging because you have to be a developer as well as operations person. So if you want to really master DevOps, you have to know how to code as well because those two come together. Now, the question is, how do you decide which to consider? Well, my answer is depends on what you want to do. So if you like designing things, you like make things pretty, I would think that you would probably be more interested in exploring the front end side of things. Now, if you like to be a little bit more complex, understanding the underlying infrastructure of systems and putting that together, then a back end development would be probably the best for you. Now, if you are a developer, as well as understanding the underlying systems and automation, then DevOps is also for you. One thing I have to say, you can actually be all of those things. Okay. Now you can specialize in one thing and be good at one thing only, but I think it's always a good idea to understand a little bit of both, especially if you want to be a more well-rounded developer who perhaps works for a small company where you have to wear many hats. Now in a big companies, bigger companies, of course, they have departments for DevOps and, and for end engineers. And that's wonderful. That's good. But in my opinion, you should learn all of them, if you can, at least two of them. That way you understand how things work. If you're interested in learning more specifically about backend and or DevOps, let me know in the comments because I have plans on putting together courses as well as some tutorials here. If you're interested, just let me know. If you don't let me know, then I won't know. So that is a wrap for me here. The distinction between the front end, back end and DevOps and essentially how which one for you to pick and as i said it all depends on what your goals are okay so thank you so much and i hope this was helpful and i will see you next time